go to Central Penn College in Enola, Pennsylvania. So we have this project for one of our classes. Basically, what we have to do is explain what occupational therapy is. So to do that, we weren't really sure where to start, so we decided to ask people around campus what they think occupational therapy is. What is occupational therapy? It's therapy for old people. I think occupational therapy is working with people with arthritis. Occupational therapy. Therapy that keeps you occupied? <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Um, it's actually therapy. It's like physical therapy, but it's like more of your arms when physical therapy is like more of your legs. Occupational therapy is helping people do everyday tasks. I, um, I think occupational therapy is um, therapy that people get for their body if they have an injury, pull a ligament, or anything along that. It's just therapy helping them regain their self and bring them back to their more normal stage. I think that occupational therapy is therapy given to your occupation. All right, occupational therapists work with people of all ages who have specialized needs to live independently. They also provide like a quality of life. Oh, wow, most of these are true. This does not completely cover what occupational therapy is. Occupational therapists can work with people of all ages, assisting them in health and participation in life. Occupational therapists have a holistic view. Four of these therapists aim to promote health by enabling individuals to perform meaningful and purposeful activities. An occupational therapist can change or adapt the environment around the client to promote independence. The pictures on the screen are examples of what occupational therapists might use to aid a client in daily activities, whether it be helping them feed themselves or dress themselves. Occupational therapists can use simple games to enhance development. These are examples of what occupational therapists might use for children with developmental disabilities. On March 15, 2017, occupational therapy will be 100 years old. The next people you will see on the screen are people who have played a part in making occupational therapy what it is today. John Ruskin, one of the founders of occupational therapy, believed that using one's hands to create things connected people to their work and contributed it to physical and mental health. William Morris, the other founder of occupational therapy who teamed up with Ruskin, both decided that people who are handicapped and mentally ill should be considered capable of being productive. George Barton opened Constellation Houses in New York that focused on occupations for covalence. He was also dedicated to reform the conditions in asylums. Herbert Hall was a physician who used arts and crafts for patients with neurasthenia. He also served as president of the National Association for the Promotion of Occupational Therapy from 1920 to 1923. William Rush Daunton, father of occupational therapy, was a psychiatrist who introduced arts and crafts for patients at Shepherd Asylum, now known as Shepherd Pratt Hospital in Maryland wrote extensively about the value of occupational therapy. Eleanor Clark Slegel, mother of occupational therapy, is a social worker who was trained in creative occupations and developed the concept of healthy training, 24-hour re-education program using directed activities to create health occupations. These people attended the first American Occupational Therapy Association meeting. The first person I'm going to talk to you about is Thomas Kidner. He developed vocational rehabilitation programs for disabled Canadian veterans for World War I and for patients with tuberculosis. He brought this movement to the United States. The second person I'm going to talk to you about is Susan Cox Johnson. She was an arts and crafts teacher who became the director of occupations for New York State and promoted the, the value of high educational standards for occupational therapy. Adolf Meyer, a psychiatrist who developed the holistic approach, viewed each person as a whole, not a series of problems to manage. He developed the initial philosophy for OT in 1921, which emphasized the balance of work, rest, and play to promote health. Balance achieved by doing. Okay, Central Penn College will give you one more chance to tell us exactly what occupational therapy is. Therapy that helps people across the lifespan live again. By this, I mean to teach people therapeutic use of everyday activities. This may be due to an illness, disease, or any type of surgery. We teach individuals how to overcome many challenges in life by adapting to their environment. And
people. Is it physical therapy therapy for old people? I have no idea. <laughs> Work with people of all ages. <laughs> <laughs> I think that therapy occupation <laughs> like uh, arthritis, they try, they try to make it better. Holistic view, or these therapists aim to promote health by enabling individuals to perform meaningful tasks and purposeful activities. Or these therapists aim to promote health by enabling individuals to perform meaningful and purposeful activities. <laughs> I just read that. Um, we had to do a project for one of our classes, um, explaining what occupational therapy is, um, because a lot of people don't know what it is. So, we asked some people, is therapy given to occupations, is that right? <laughs> sure. How to, like, brush their teeth and do simple tasks, because they lost their memory. She is working with people that had strokes. Ha ha ha!